that Learning Channel show, Milf Manor. Yes. We binged it. All six episodes of season one. Episode seven comes on Sunday the 12th. It is a wonderful guilty pleasure. It's it's White Lotus without the quality. Doesn't sound good. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions to Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to some Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. The like button. Because why? The like, like, like. Why do it? It helps the algorithm, which is what we all want. Uh, if we were running for Congress, that'd be our campaign. We'll, we will help the algorithm. That's goddamn true. And we'd win. Uh, today, this is a video. Uh, it's called The Unseen Truth of India. World Needs to Know. Ooh. <laughs> the Unseen Truth of India. World Needs to Know. We're going to look under the underpants. Uh, well, I, I mean, the, the Unseen Truth. Kama Sutra? I'm assuming that's what these are. Yeah, the girls of Kama Sutra, which yeah. we've already watched, what, 100, 150 it's times? my favorite movie. Yeah. Greatest film ever made. I agree. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm assuming this is The just... Unseen Truth of India. The world needs to know. Hopefully there's some stuff we don't know. I'm assuming there's been a lot we've heard before. Uh, we've been doing this for four years now. Um, but let's there's see. There's always new things. To Here learn. we go. What is the first image comes to your mind when you hear the name of India? Like this? Shah Rukh Khan! This, right? Oh. Because your media mostly presents such similar images of India in front of you. Okay, let me show you something different. Honestly, they don't really talk about if India. I say, this is India. Will you believe me? Maybe not. Because most probably you have never seen India in this way. But actually, this is real India which has been hidden from you. The slums, busy and chaotic cities you see on TV or mobile is only a smallest part of India. India is actually pretty normal. And this is the one thing that a lot of people are don't understand about India. Okay, let me show you some major cities of India. This is Mumbai. This is Delhi. This is Delhi. Kolkata. This is Gurgaon. This is Noida. This is Hyderabad. This is Pune. This is Bangalore. Really, not a lot of skyscrapers. This is Chennai. No, that, that this video is opened my eyes. Me too. This is Pune, and there are many such modern cities in India. Okay, let's come to the rural part of India, and I'm pretty sure that according to you. The Indian villages are look something like this or this, right? Some of them. But actually, this <laughs> is not even 5% part of Indian villages. More than 95% of Indian villages are look something like this. Due to the large population of India, the Indian villages are also so big. Look at this. This is not a city or town, but it's a village called Madhapur, located in the Indian state of Gujarat. After a lot of struggle in 1947, when India got independence from the British Empire, India's economy was only 25 billion dollars. Even in 1991, India's economy was less than the economy of Paris and London. And now India has more economy than the France and the UK. Ha! In suck it, British! India's economy was ranked 10th in the world. But now in 2022, India has become the fifth largest economy in the world with a huge GDP of California is the fourth. Billion in just last <laughs> eight years, India has overtaken five major economies like Canada, Russia, Italy, Brazil, France, and the UK. And this is really impressive. India is the fastest growing major economy. You're the fifth in the economy? World. According to IMF, California is ahead of India. India is set to surpass <laughs> Germany and Japan to become the world's third largest economy by 2027. California is, is there. already the largest <laughs> economy in the world in terms of PPP GDP with a huge GDP of 11.7 trillion dollars. And by 2030, India's nominal GDP is expected to be. Oh yeah, India's a extremely fast-growing. is much more than e-commerce. After the USA, Russia, and China, the Indian military is the fourth most powerful military in the world. And uh, with a budget of 76.6 .6 billion dollars, India has third largest defense budget in the world. You see that number of the United States? Yeah. That's why we don't have health care. Yeah. 1.15 million reserve personnel and over 2.52 million paramilitary. The Indian military is the largest military in the world mm -hmm. with a total 5.13 million military personnel. 
India is also a nuclear armed country. The country is holding some of the most powerful nuclear oh, weapons in the world, something. such as intercontinental ballistic missiles, Agni 5, Agni 6, A5, and K6, which has a massive range of 5,000 km to 12,000 km. Even some experts say that India hidden a dangerous weapon called Agni 7 or Surya, which has a massive range of 12,000 km to 16,000 km. There are only four countries in the world that have anti-satellite weapons and India is one of them. India has capability to destroy the communication system of any country in the world by destroying their satellite in this space. The Indian Space Research That'll be Organization the next world war, just shooting ISRO rockets. Among the world's top and most successful space agencies, ISRO has successfully launched over 386 foreign satellites for 36 different countries, including satellite of USA, Germany, France, and the UK, and successfully launched over 130 for Indian origin satellites. Yeah. There are many, many misconceptions about India have been born in the world, especially in the West, and that's why many people make the mistake of underestimating India. For example, in 2013, when India announced that India will also send its satellite and rover to Mars, the New York Times made fun of India like this. Ooh. But after in just one year in the what first the heck? Time, <laughs> India became the first country in the world to reach Mars in the first attempt. Nice. And just few years later, in 2017, India created an incredible world record by launching 104 satellite from a single rocket. And then India made fun of New York Times like this. <laughs> this is called <laughs> nice job. India is among the world I like the pettiness. That have successfully reached Mars and Moon both. Other are USA, Russia, and China. And among the five countries that have their own GPS navigation system, other are USA, Russia, China, and Japan. After USA and China, India has the highest number of billionaires in the world. As of 2022, India has totaled 237 billionaires. Unfortunately, none of them India in the world should be around. The fastest growing major stock market in the world, even two out of the world's 10 largest stock exchanges are India. And India is said to be worth the largest stock market by 2030, with a total expected market cap of over $11 trillion. It's it's supposed to be the world's largest. The world's fastest growing startup ecosystem in 2014, India had only 400 startups. And as of 2022, India has over 77,000 startups, which makes India globally the third largest startup ecosystem in the world after USA and China, as well as India has the highest number of unicorns. Much younger uh, uh, working than China, too, though. Valuation of $341 billion. So they're going to overtake China India quite quickly. India is already among the top five most industrialized countries with a total output of $900 billion. And it is said to be the third most industrialized country by 2030 with the expected industrial output of more than $3 trillion. Currently, India is the 8th largest exporter in the world. Total export of India was $675 billion in 2021. And the country is on the way to become the 3rd largest exporter in the world by 2030 with an expected export of more than $2 trillion. India is emerging as factory of the world due to its large-scale workforce. Even in 2021, India overtaken US and became the second most attractive manufacturing destination globally, second only to China. Cheaper. Production. India is the largest producer of tractor, two-wheeler, spice, dairy products, milk, ginger, turmeric, and sugar. Second largest producer of smartphone, steel, cement, vegetable, fruit, rice, wheat, and cotton. Third the largest producer of electricity, renewable energy, gems, and jewelry. Fourth largest producer of cars and trucks. The Indian textile industry is the second largest textile industry in the world with a total value. I actually thought it would be the first. $25 billion. The country is well known as hub of information technology. The annual revenue of Indian IT industry is more than $200 billion and it is said to be $350 to $400 million yeah. by 2025 and more than $1 trillion by 2030. Also known as the pharmacy of the world, the country's <laughs> massive pharmaceutical industry is the source of more than 50% of global demand for various vaccines. India is the largest provider of generic drugs globally. Over 40% generic drugs in the USA and over 25% of all medicine in the UK are supplied by India. 
it is difficult to imagine how world would be able to combat AIDS without India because globally over 80% of antiretroviral drugs which is using to combat AIDS are supplied by India. Known as the potential superpower, India is the second most popular country cool in building. the world and its potential is unlimited. The country has largest young force in the world. More than 50% of its population below the age of 25 and more than 65% of its population below the age of 35. And this young power is helping India to become an economic superpower like USA, China and European Union. But still, if you think that India is a poor country, then let me tell you that Indian household own the largest amount of gold, 25,000 oh, that, that, that to 30,000 And you'd probably have even more if uh, British didn't steal it all. Trillion to trillion <laughs> and it True. is more than the economy of Australia, South Korea and Italy. Even Indian people alone have bought 1,000 to 5,000 tons of gold. Not shocking there. Worth more than $300 billion and is more than the economy of New Zealand and England. <laughs> Indians are just love golds and jewelry and that's why India is the biggest consumer of gold, silver, jewelry and gems. Gold is a good Many investment. people in the world, mostly in the West, use HDI and per capita to criticize India. But they forget that India is the fastest growing major economy in the world. Currently, India's HDI is considered in the medium category, which is expected to move to the high human development category by 2025. Even today, 14 Indian state are comes in the high human development category and 13 Indian state are very close to achieve this. And many Indian state have more GDP per capita than the per capita of many European countries. Well, India is 7 to 10 times cheaper than the Europe and America. India yeah. is just like <laughs> China, as China developed itself in the past, today India is developing in the same way. According to recent UN study, the country has lifted more than 415 million people out of poverty since 2005 and according to World Bank, poverty in India has reduced by 12.3% between 2011 to 2019 from 22.5% in 2011 to only 10% in 2019. And according to recent study of IMF, India has almost wiped out extreme poverty. The percentage of people living in the extreme poverty in India is only 0.8% now. The country is home to the rich culture and spirituality. No country in the world as diverse as India. There are 28 states and 8 union territories in India and they all have their own culture, music, languages, races and food. And no country in the world is more colorful than India. Even India has entire colorful cities like Jaipur, the city of Pink. Udaipur, the right city on that of street. Pied, Jodhpur, the city of blue, Jaisalmer, the city of gold, and Kanyakumari, the city of seven colors. India is a whole world itself. India has snow like Greenland, beauty like Switzerland, desert like Arab, wildlife like Africa, beautiful cities like Europe, forest like Brazil, and mountains like Japan. Even India has a white desert also. 100,000 of beautiful temples historical monuments, incredible architecture sites, extremely beautiful hill stations like Monali, Nainital, Simla and Spitivili. India is just incredible. India is transforming itself as a global economic powerhouse. The country is home to the highest number of under construction mega projects in the world. Project Bharatmala post $140 billion. Project Sagarmala post $130 billion. Project DMIC post $100 billion, Projects 100 Smart City post $100 billion. These are few big projects out of them. As well as, the country is spending a massive amount of $1.5 trillion to modernize and develop its infrastructure. Along with this, seeing the growth of country's urbanization, India is also creating many new and futuristic cities like Gibb City, Dolera SIR and Amravati Smart City. The fastest growing major economy, the fastest growing major stock market, the fastest growing startup ecosystem, healthcare, technology, infrastructure, and industries. India is performing excellent, and this is what the world should know about India. And they have Shah Rukh Khan, which is probably the most important That's thing. That's the most important part. Uh, it was a good video. A lot of lot of stuff in there. A lot of stuff we'd seen before. It's uh, it's definitely one of those things that because um, I, I obviously I there's a lot of videos like this because I think a lot of people in India are 
upset that a lot of people don't realize this about India. Sure. Um, and I, I know a lot of people in India think that like all people in the West think of is, is slums because that's what the West shows them. But uh, honestly, the, the West doesn't really show them very much at all. At all. So it's <laughs> like it's not that just like, oh, they're all constantly showing slum, slum, slum. They just don't really talk about India very much. No. In, in the West here. No, I, I, my, our, I think I can speak for you in this. Our, our preconceived notions about India weren't based on current projections given to us. It was based on what we'd been shown many years ago and had never been updated. So we just assumed things were the way they've been. I think a lot of people, if you're just not paying attention, I mean, obviously, if you're in business, you probably if know. If you're an international traveler, you're yeah, in business, you, yes. You know how India is like a, on the up and up, obviously. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but if you're just a regular person, you might not realize that India is right. has such economic growth. No, that- and it's not because it's not because there's this, this a, a massive amount of bad representation. There's no representation. Yeah, yeah. Really. There's just there's just none. It's really just not talked about at exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. Um, probably just because I mean, United States and India have never really been at odds, like in no. terms of like not on the opposite ends, but they've also never really been partners very much. No, it's just it's a they've been a like kind, kind ally. of friends. <laughs> yeah, we're kind allies, and maybe once a year or once every two years we'll have a visit one way or the other. Yeah. And that's it's that's pretty much it. It's not, like it's we like don't a hear t- a lot about a lot of our allies because everything's cool. <laughs> you know? Um is India an ally though? Because yeah, they're I've, considered an ally. Are they? Yeah. I thought they were just more neutral. No, anything. they're definitely considered an ally. Because obviously they're an ally to Russia. They are. And obviously we are not. Correct. Shocker of the year. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but so I didn't know if we were just kind of like Switzerland neutral kind of thing. No, 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 <laughs> no. We definitely are one another's allies. Even though Switzerland is an ally, of, they're part yeah. of NATO. <laughs> no, we're we are we are definitely we are allies. It's not the same, for example, as us in Canada. Yeah, uh, that that's you know. But yes, we are yeah. definitely allied. Uh, and, and this uh, for these kind of things for me are always um, uh, when it's this much information. And they're citing sources so fast that I just – there's no way I could ever yeah. check these sources. I take it with a giant grain of salt yeah. because it's it's one-sided. But, I, but gra- granted, whatever. I, I've heard a lot of this information before in terms of the economic growth yes, of, absolutely. of India, yep. which is obviously very true. I do, I, I'm do. i assuming they were counting California in the United States, which is why it wasn't listed. They were doing it with countries yeah. rather than just – Places. But if you did include California as a country, it would be the fourth largest economy in the world. Correct. California, baby. Ask what Florida is. Bitches. <laughs> I'm calling Florida bitches because yeah. they're bitches. Yeah. Uh, if you live in Florida, I'm sorry for you. Yeah. It's a garbage hole of the United States. And I. It's I, the tickling taint of the United the, States. Very nice. And well, we haven't well washed put. it in a long time. Well put. <laughs> and it's really. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, no, I, I, there's and there's obviously some things in there that I would I that are eyebrow raising for me, that again can't can't substantiate. But yes, I would say the majority of the stuff that's on there, which is unseen truths, plural. Yeah. There wasn't just one truth in, in here. That there'd be a lot of uh, surprises. I just I th- I think the amount of information, especially with the totality of the twelve minutes being the climax of a Marvel movie soundtrack yes. <laughs> is, is a bit, it's a, it's a, it's a bit, by the time you get five, six minutes in, it becomes numbing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I totally understand. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, if there was some, uh, inf- information that was wrong or uh, you should clarify, please let us know what that is in the comments below. Um, and I, I, I do think like if you, if you weren't us who does this every single day, a lot of this information might be very, very new. To, I think the majority of it would be uh, very, very new. In terms of like, they, a lot of people just assume India is a very poor country still. Right. And there are parts, obviously, of India that are still very, very poor. There are. I just, I, they are. Uh, I, I find it hard hard to believe. I would want to check the stat, and it sounds like it can be politicized. I find it really hard to believe that they've eliminated extreme poverty. I think they I find that really hard to believe. I think that's. Um, a specific way, extreme poverty. And so what's the next level? Is it kind of poverty? Right, <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> exactly. D- d- define the adjective extreme and 
To, uh, that's just that one's because that's tough for me to swallow. That's uh, I think it's the the word extreme is the key. Yeah, yeah I don't so, know how much extreme poverty we have here. It might be we point ha- eight, but we have poverty. Yeah, we'll we have define, a bunch of poverty here. Find that. Yeah, we yeah. have a bunch of poverty here, especially in yeah. minority groups. Uh, you make five hundred rupees a year. If you had made four hundred and ninety nine rupees a year, you would have been in extreme poverty. I don't know what the stat is. I'm just saying it's a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if there's any information like that, please let it clarify it for us down below <laughs> yeah. and other videos that we can react to down below. Just-